In order to create custom note presets, we have to use Cinema 4D New Note Editor. Check the note space to redshift and create new note material. Here we have the standard material and output notes. Press C and search for texture and apply it to diffuse color. I've got this random facade texture for our example. Now search for Vector Absolute. This button enables grid snapping. Duplicate Vector Absolute node and search for Regular Absolute node. Select all of them, right-click and group nodes. As a result we've got a group without any outputs or parameters to tweak. Let's dive into this group by pressing this arrow button. Press H to home view. Now I'll rename this vector absolute to scale, this one to offset, and this one to rotate. Drag and release the node connection and click add new output. Double click and rename it to scale. Then do the same thing with other nodes. Let's get back. And now our group has outputs, but still no parameters. So let's get back into the group. For this time we'll drag and release input node connection and click Propagate Port. Do the same with the rest of the nodes. Let's up a level and now we see that we've got all the inputs and outputs. I also use horizontal ports button for node to look better. Now you can see that we've got all the outputs and parameters in our group. Now connect all the ports we need together. Let's check what we've got. I'll set the default value to 1. Oh, and also you can rename the inputs when you're propagating the ports. I'll start viewport IPR and I'll change some values and you can see that everything's working fine. But still this is not the end. Now we are actually gonna create the asset. Select the node and rename it for example to transform. Select it, then go to Asset and Convert to Asset. Choose Preferences and in my case Category to Math. Then click OK. Now when we are searching for Transform, we've got the node with all the inputs and parameters. All you have to do now is to connect the ports you need. This is one of the methods on how we can create custom node presets. But what if you want to edit this preset? Just select the node, go to Asset and Edit Asset. Here for example I'm going to add the Change Range node. The main idea is that you can create any node presets you like. I'm using this Change Range just for example. Connect the nodes to output and then propagate all the needed ports on the change range node. If you don't see the input on the node, like for example clamp to new range, just right click and select propagate port. Close, hit yes, then ok and nodes updated with all the ports we need. Now you can tweak all the parameters you want. Also somewhere on the forum there was a question on how to create the transform node like an octane. Because Redshift deals with the texture scaling a little bit different than octane. It scales texture up when we are lowering the value and scales texture down when we are rising the value. 
So how we actually create this transform nodes? So we've got this vector absolute. Uh, I'll set the default value to one. Now search for vector po or pow. Now connect the vector absolute to base input and set the exponent to minus one on each axis. Then connect vector pow to scale. Let's see what we've got. Now when we are rising values in the vector absolute node, the texture is scaling up. And when we're uh, lowering the value, the texture is scaling down like an octane. So now you can uh, just simply select this nodes, group node, Rename it, for example, to Octane Transform. Dive inside. Propagate all the needed inputs and outputs. Then create an asset by clicking Asset Convert to Asset. I'm choosing the category of Math. Then click OK. And here you have it search for Octane Transform and we've got our Transform node. Also check out the video by Blue Fox Creation on how to create custom nodes in Redshift and Standard Expresso Editor. Also, if you're into Houdini, check the Liam's video on his channel on how to create a texture transform tool. I hope this technique will help you in your work. Feel free to check out my other social accounts and subscribe.